Uh, I'm going to share a celebration with you folks. I just realized the other day, and I was talking about this last night, I'm celebrating 20 years this weekend since my vasectomy. Woo! The women all clap at that one. Yes. <laughs> you shouldn't breed. <laughs> Who here's had a vasectomy besides me? <laughs> it's not like I want to compare scars, okay? It's all right. I, the reason I'm celebrating, like 20 years ago, I got a sales pitch on the vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They called it the new no scalpel vasectomy, a less invasive procedure. Yes. Bullshit. <laughs> and you can't just go and have a vasectomy, guys. You got to be sure you want to have it done. You have to be serious. Like I'd be walking down the street and go, hey, cut my nuts open. <laughs> I'm not doing this on a whim. I thought it through. I go to the doctor for my consult, and he says, well, why do you want a vasectomy? I said, well, let me see. My youngest is six months old. My oldest is 17. My life is screwed. Make it stop. He says, come back in a month. I said, I'm here now. He says, nope, there's things you have to do. Three things I remember to prepare for my less invasive procedure. First, don't drink the night before. Okay. Second, don't drive to your appointment. They should clarify that one. And third, shave the area to be worked on. No diagram. All I knew for sure, it was here. <laughs> and guys, if you're ever thinking of shaving here, I'll give you some safety tips. Menthol shaving gel is bad. <laughs> if you're thinking, you know what? I got one more shave left in the old disposable. <laughs> bad. <laughs> Aftershave? <laughs> really bad. Now, girls, you've all watched a man shave in the morning one time in your life, at least once. Probably only once, because it's boring. <laughs> but you had to see it, right? You had to see it, whether it was your dad, your brother, your uncle, your boyfriend, your husband, some guy you picked up in the bar. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you wanted to see this once, that was enough. But when he's shaving, when he gets to a corner or a wrinkle, he does this. <laughs> Pretty much just corners and wrinkles. <laughs> I'm an hour and a half doing the Captain Morgan. <laughs> Then I'm sticking Kleenex to it. <laughs> oh, the day before my less invasive procedure, the nurse phones me at home. She said, Mr. Beto, we forgot to ask what religion you are. <laughs> Pardon? You're gonna be working here? And you're thinking at some point I may need a priest? <laughs> I'm Irish Catholic and I'm having a vasectomy. I'm going to hell. <laughs> but thanks for putting my mind at ease. <laughs> the hospital I had it done at, five blocks from my house. So I walked. <laughs> they said don't drive. I didn't know I was allowed to get a ride. So I go into the operating room. I gotta do this part real quick. I go into the operating room, and ladies, for those of you that have a kid, it's, the bed is just like a birthing bed. You know the one I'm talking about with the drop down middle and the stirrups come apart, and the trapeze up top, and the handles, and the part that goes woo 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 woo. Right? Every guy who's looked at the birthing bed has looked at it and went. Uh, 
Little different story when it's me in disturbed. <laughs> Doctor says, jump up in the bed. I'm up in bed. He says, lift your bum, we'll pull your underwear down. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'll get it. And the doctor looked at me and said, what the hell did you do? <laughs> I said, I shaved. <laughs> oh, I may have colored outside the lines a little. <laughs> he said, well, what I'm about to do can't possibly make it look any worse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to hear the rest of that story, have a bet. Bye. <laughs>